In this video, I'm going to show a live demo of using an AI chatbot along with the human agents. So the idea behind here is that to save uh, the human agents time on simplified questions asked by the customers and also for assign more conversations which are more complex for them to answer. So without any further ado, let me show the demo how this works. So before that, uh, let's see what is included in this video. So we will see a live demo of an AI customer service uh, chatbot which can actually works on multiple channels. So those channels include uh, Messenger, WhatsApp, uh, Instagram, Google Business, Telegram, Viber, SMS, Voice and website as well. So I will show a, a demo on just a few channels over here and you will also see how the a lead generation works so while the chatbot actually answer any kind of questions about the business it also helps with generating leads for your business and also you will see a, a demo of how the automatic human conversation assignment happens so let's say if a particular customer ask a particular kind of questions which is not uh, included in the knowledge base or if it is uh, feels like a complex question then that particular customers uh, will customer question or that particular contact will be automatically transferred to the human agents and also let's say a particular customer is not is not satisfied with the response provided by the AI chatbot and if they provide if they rate that particular uh, response as uh, like uh, they didn't like that particular response then a human agent will be automatically assigned for them as well and also using these two scenarios automatic human conversation assignment when a particular information is not uh, found in the knowledge base and also if a particular customer rate the AI chatbot response as negative then we actually use collect those uh, information and uh, use the particular information to improve the knowledge base as well so we can see all these included in this video so without any further ado let me show the demo so this particular demo is created for this cbp plumbing corporation so this is a plumbing corporation based in the new york city so uh, this particular chatbot can answer any kind of questions about this specific business so let me show the demo how this actually works so here we are in the instagram so let me first uh, trigger this specific uh, chatbot flow so we can see the demo so let me send the keyword over here to trigger the specific chatbot flow cbb so it should actually trigger the chatbot flow and start talking to us so as you see here uh, welcome to cb plumbing corporation how can i help you today so we can ask any kind of questions about uh, this specific business so it says what are your hours so we can ask uh, that kind of question as well so let me ask what are your uh, business hours so let's see how this actually works so it should send me this kind of information 7 a.m to 5 p.m and as you see they also provide emergency services as well so as i mentioned earlier if a particular customer wants to uh, request a callback so let's say uh, here the particular customer chat chatting with this particular chatbot and they wants to request a callback let's see what happens over here so let me see can i can i request a callback so this is where the ai lead generation comes into play so that particular customer asked just a question so and uh, let's see how the chatbot actually responds over here S yes you can uh, request a callback please provide uh, your name zip code and phone number and we will be happy to assist you further so it simply asks those kind of uh, details from the customer and as you see here i'm going to provide all those information in just one message and see what happens over here so let me provide my names as something justin and let me say you can reach me at 917 something like that and let me just type the zip code over here 10021 something like that and let's see what happens over here so i have provided all the information in just one message and let's see how the chatbot actually respond to me over here it says thank you justin your callback request has been received and our team will reach out to you shortly to discuss uh, your plumbing needs in details so now let's go to the google sheet over here and it says a lead generation here we have a work a workbook over here and as you see here it says uh, the full name is justin and the phone number is already here and the zip code which i provided within this message it's already captured over here and the beautiful thing is that we have this omnichannel inbox over here and if i open that specific chat associated with that particular person we can see the 
just in and the phone number i submitted over here and we can see the zip code as well so there are some other data as well because uh, they i actually went through several other flows so that's why uh, that's what this particular email address was also here but otherwise the details we actually submitted in the chat the phone number and the zip code as you see here and the name is already here so it's a very easy way to generate leads while answering any kind of questions about the business as well and the next thing is that uh, we are going to see how the this how a particular customer's conversation is automatically assigned to a human so here in this particular business a website or in the about section we couldn't find the founders details over here so for the uh, chatbot knowledge base we don't have that the founder of this particular company so if a particular customer come over here and ask who is the founder so let me ask uh, who is the founder of this company somewhere of this company so actually we don't have this information in the knowledge base and see what happens over here so let's see who is the founder of this company and it says a human support agent will be with you shortly to assist you if you have any additional information you would like to add please feel free to do so so what happens is that this particular information wasn't provided in our knowledge base and it simply assign a particular human agent to this particular contact so if i go back to omnichannel inbox over here and if i refresh uh, this particular chat over here and let's see what you see over here so it says uh, this particular ch chat it says just in this particular details and it's automatically assigned to a human agent as well so if i see view executed as um, actions over here and it says conversation is assigned to a human agent and that particular agent can simply talk with this particular customer as well and the another beautiful thing is that as i mentioned uh, this is uh, actually stored in this particular uh, feedback column as well for example so this particular customer justin which i mentioned in this particular chat over here justin uh, this particular chat person asked a question who is the founder and the ai couldn't respond it it says no none and uh, basically this particular information is simply sent over here so let's say if you found the founder of this company and what we can do is we can simply improve the improvements or suggestions so this particular column is there to add the particular improvements or suggestion so what we can do is we can simply um let's say a particular client actually uh, come or so let's say you are particular the owner of this particular company come over to this particular seat and check this particular sheet and update this kind of information over here anyways we have to update this particular information into a chatbot knowledge page as, as well so let me add um, so the founder is um, robert so here uh, the, let's say this is updated by the owner of this particular company or some kind of staff so let's say uh, we can actually track if this particular knowledge base is updated or not so let me copy this information over here and here in this uh, flow so this is the flow over here and if we are here we have this business information so here what i'm going to do here is that uh, here i'm going to uh, add add the founder is robert so that's i updated over here and here i can simply just for the recording purposes i can simply type done so it doesn't have to do with anything over here but let's say uh, when you actually make this chatbot live we will receive a lot of conversation over here and just to keep this information to see if the particular information is already updated or not you can simply update this column as well as done so as you know now we have already updated uh, the founder information over here now i'm going to ask um so what i can do now is i can actually reset this uh, chatbot from the beginning so for that i can simply send the flow over here again to this specific same contact so we can actually start from the beginning so let's see what happens so it says welcome to cb plumbing corporation how can i ask you today so this time i'm going to ask the founder so who is the founder so this time it should say uh, as we already updated the information is robert so this should this should actually say robert is the founder so now let's see how this actually works over here the founder is robert as you see we just updated that particular information over here and when the chatbot actually reset it simply retires the latest information and another thing is that customer feedback and human assignment as well so that's one we have to discuss over here so let's say uh, 
uh, when we actually respond to this customer instantly with the AI response for example if I if I ask, so for example here I ask for the business hours and chatbot actually respond to the business hours over here so let's say if we want to collect the feedback from the customer whether this particular response generated by AI is good or bad we can do that as well so here at, at the moment I currently switch this off for example the traffic we can actually split the traffic over here so all the traffic is respond come as a response so it simply provide the response generated by the AI here we can actually change the traffic in such a way to ask the feedback as well so while providing the a uh, response after three seconds we can actually ask if they are satisfied with the specific response or not so if someone says uh, they are not satisfied with the AI chatbot uh, as a, uh, assistance it will simply transfer the conversation to the human agent and it will be sent that particular information will be sent to this Google sheet as well so let me show how this actually works for that I have to change the traffic over here so at the moment it says 100% of the traffic is coming to this particular block we have to send that 100% of the traffic to the other block so it decreases back to zero over here all right So as I mentioned earlier, this can actually works on multiple channels. For example, if I click over here, this can actually works on all these channels. So here we have actually enabled the option to ask for the customer feedback as well. So I'm going to show this specific demo in the Telegram. So let me open the Telegram over here and let me trigger the Telegram by the keyword CBB. So now it actually start asking the question over here. So let's say. Uh, let me ask a question over here who is the founder so it's, it's simply respond to me with the Robert as the founder and also it actually simply asks, did the AI assistant successfully address your query so they can choose yes or no so if they choose yes it simply says uh, awesome if you have any further questions please uh, let us know or if they press no thank you the, ch the chat simply end so let me ask another question uh, what is the phone number so let's see what happens over here the phone number is this particular phone number and after three seconds it simply uh, asks uh, this kind of question over here so so let me ask a question again how much does it cost so we don't have any kind of information about the cost so it says I'm sorry I don't have that information about the specific cost for these services and it simply asks the customer to contact this particular phone number or the email to incur about the pricing details so let's say the customer is not satisfied uh, with this particular question and the answer generated by the AI so if the customer says no I'm not satisfied and it simply says a human agent will be with you shortly to ask you if you have any additional information please add as well so once the once this particular chat is transferred to the human agent even if the customer send any kind of messages nothing won't happen because uh, this actually uh, we have this admin notification channel over here so that's why we are actually receiving the admin notification channel uh, over here so this is admin notification but otherwise in the case of customers point of view nothing will happen so if I go to the inbox over here uh, here as you see it's it's it, this particular chat is assigned to Daniel Bennett and this particular chat was assigned to a different person so based on the live agent availability it will automatically assign the chat to the agent and the live agent can also talk with the customers one-on-one -on -one. so for example let me send this emoji over here mm -hmm. send me over here and another thing is that uh, here as you no, this, this particular customer wasn't not satisfied with the, uh, gen uh, the response generated by the AI as you see as you, if I scroll back this particular customer said this particular AI response they are not satisfied with so here we also send that particular information as well so this particular customer said uh, how much uh, this particular asked how much does it cost and this is the AI response so we have to actually make this response better and also update that particular response into the AI business information over here so that next time when a particular customer asks about the same costing related questions it it will be the response will be 
better created by the AI chatbot. And there is also another thing you can simply access the omnichannel inbox by clicking the link over here. So let's say if you let's say this uh, the, you actually have the last uh, two questions. So what the question customer says they are not satisfied and the response. So let's say if you want to check the whole chat of the particular customer, you can simply click on this link and it will take you to the omni omnichannel inbox. And here you can find the specific chat of that uh, particular customer over here. So there is some network issues on my connection otherwise uh, everything is cool so if you have any questions or if you want to learn more about how to implement uh, this kind of hybrid ai customer service chatbot with the human agent option in your business then you can contact us directly through email or whatsapp thank you